The Ducati Scrambler, a brand resurrected from the 1960s in 2014, with a whole new range of neo retro scramblers. And four years later, the Ducati Scrambler gets some minor updates. And these updates are apparently the direct result of customer feedback. The bike looks more or less identical to the outgoing model, but there are some important updates. The Scrambler icon was first launched in India four years ago. Now, four years later, it gets some changes. If you look at it, it looks more or less similar to the outgoing model, but there are some changes, some updates to the model, minor cosmetic changes. Uh, in the instrument panel, you get a fuel gauge, which was missed in the outgoing model, and of course, a gear position indicator. But more importantly, it now gets cornering ABS. Engine remains the same. And the suspension has been softened out a bit, so the ride quality is softer, it's more comfortable, goes over bumps very easily. So that's the new Scrambler icon, the entry-level Ducati. And it's more or less the same engine-wise, but yes, there's been some improvement in this, the Scrambler icon. The Scrambler's suspension has been softened and the seat material has also been changed on the new model. The result is that ride quality has definitely improved over the last generation Scrambler. It's more comfortable, yet it retains the same easy-to-ride, fun personality it always had. Around the corner as well, the Scrambler feels sure-footed and planted. The Desert Sled is the off-road oriented Scrambler. So it gets more suspension travel, higher ground clearance and spoke wheels with a larger 19-inch front wheel. The uh, difference between the Scrambler Icon and the Scrambler Desert Sled, of course, is this one's more off-road friendly. For starters, it gets longer suspension travel, it gets 200mm suspension travel in the front and, of course, a lot of ground clearance also, more than the Scrambler Icon. And of course, it gets a larger 19-inch front wheel and spoke wheel, so you can do a fair bit of off-roading. It's not a true blue off-road dirt bike as such, but yes, you can do a fair bit of off-roading on this. For taking on the rough, it's the Scrambler Desert Sled, which should be the obvious choice. It can take on a fair bit of rough terrain, and the Desert Sled is the more entertaining model to ride off-road and it also gets cornering ABS now. Now, uh, this one's uh, obviously more expensive than the Icon. So who are these scramblers meant for? If you're the kind of guy who's graduating from a smaller bike and you want to get into motorcycling, you want to get into a V-twin, something like a L-twin format of the scrambler, this one, the power delivery is not very intimidating, so it's easy on you. It's very easy to handle, not very intimidating. It can cruise at 130, 140 if you were in that kind of mood. But of course, if you are, want to cover long distances, maybe 400, 500 kilometers a day, the lack of any wind protection will get to you after a couple of hours of riding. But overall, if you want to graduate from a smaller bike, the Scrambler Icon makes a very good case. And if you want to start off-roading, this one certainly will make you do a fair bit of soft loading, I'd say. And even if you're not a beginner, you want to get back into motorcycling after a period of, say, 10, 15 years, you have been riding motorcycles. The Scrambler range certainly makes a very good case for itself. And the Desert Sled, of course, if you want to start off-roading, very good bike to start off-roading. The 2019 Ducati Scrambler will be launched in India sometimes this month. And with the updates, there is expected to be a minor price increase as well. While the Scrambler Icon is expected to be priced just under 8 lakh rupees, the Desert Sled is expected to cost around 10 lakh rupees. The entry-level Ducati looks retro cool, is easy to ride and definitely a lot of fun. If it's a new Ducati you're looking for with the classic retro touch, by all means, check out the new Scrambler. It could be all the bike that you need.